our last and final game is the Image Theater. And this one is really good for demonstrating that we have, and it's a statistic that gets overused and made up, but the punchline is that most of the communicating you do does not come out of your mouth uh, via the words that you say. It's your entire body communicates a message. Being cognizant of that, both if you are speaking, um, similar to tone, you know, I could, uh, I can say, John, I really like your shirt, but if I say, John, I really like your shirt, you know, both my tone and my body language is the opposite of what the words are coming out of my mouth. And at the same time, if you're not able to use um, language, your voice still can be heard, or what you have to communicate can still get out there from you using other aspects of body motion. So for this game, um, you're gonna have two people, and typically it's the uh, the first time you play it, you want the facilitator. And on this one, we like to we like to use what we're talking about, uh, like being the problem is like crowded hallways or like whatever we've kind of decided we're gonna write a letter or talk about really advocate about we like to take that issue and put it in this game and normally the first round of the game is this is what it's like and we'll just say like a crowded hallway a big sky where it's like everybody is all close together and they'll use their bodies they'll freeze and they'll use their bodies to describe that and once they make that pose with their body um john and i narrate the photo and you know so if somebody is like this will say i really don't like the hallways um because in order to make more room somebody shoved me in a locker, but incorporating whatever body motion they are, they're making into what's happening in that picture and putting kind of a narrative to it. Um, so it's not just the image, it's, it's a story to go with it. Um, and then you say click and the participants make an entirely new motion. And something to point out in the facilitating is that the bigger the motion, the better. And you can also interact with each other. So if you want to lean on somebody's shoulder, you know, that that helps paint the picture. Walk around the room and mm -hmm. look at what they're doing is another good one. Important things to, as far as accommodating and just understanding are, you know, any personal space issues um, that, that people may have, and, you know, respecting that. This also ties back to, you know, and if you need to, refer back to those guidelines that the entire group came up to, um, came up with in the very beginning, and reminding people that you know we need to main res maintain respect and those boundaries uh, while we play those games. And the advantage, and one of the reasons we don't play this right away, is that by this point, you should know a lot of that by working through the other activities um, and getting to know the individuals in the room. Uh, so taking all that information um, into into this game. On the second click, um, like, like what you're advocating for has gotten a little bit better. And so people will kind of freeze and so it's a little bit better and you kind of comment on that. And then on the third click, they'll do it and you say, this is what it'd be like if the issue was completely resolved. And they'll show you like the happy heart and they'll use their bodies and show you what it looks like and then you can talk about what it would be if that issue didn't exist anymore. And then again, as a facilitator, you're constantly listening to what's going on because any motion that they make or um, any, you know, uh, anything that is revealed by the individual uh, through this game can be then be taken and put into that letter or that speech. Yeah. Um, but your job as a facilitator is to make that connection because um, the students may not, but that's why you're playing the game, so you can help make those connections. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, this is my new friend um, in person that I will not kill, John. Uh, we met at the Jedi Sith Building Bridges uh, Symposium uh, that was just held because the universe is big and there's no reason why we shouldn't get along. It was quite wonderful. Okay, absolutely. Uh, a big topic at the conference was bullying, Here's both of Jedi time. and Sith um, and our relationship. So it hasn't been that good in the past. Um, in fact, we have a slide to represent um, our bullying relationship at its absolute worst. Bullying has been going throughout the galaxy for many ages, and this photo really describes it. Click. As you can see, the force choke has been used to bully kids for many, many years. Oh, absolutely. Whether it be a clone war um, or the Empire striking back, I, we are, we're hitting each other um, back and forth, both with our fists and with the force. Um, and it's been like that for... Uh, 
long, long time. In fact, do you remember that time I stole your lunch money with my mind? I, I think do, that was I a do. very I crazy do. time. Yeah. Uh, I once told you this is not the Twinkie you're looking for mm. um, at the same time. But uh, at, through the ages, we've attempted to get better. Yeah. Um, certain interventions have worked. And at times, it hasn't been so bad. Um, and uh, we've gotten better. So this yeah. is slightly better. Yeah, this is like the moderate where we were in the yeah. galaxy. Okay. Yep. Click. So click. Oh, yes. Yes, the See, old Jedi noogie. Yes, the force noogie is a for opposed to the force choke, mm -hmm. which again is very aggressive. I didn't like it. But again, I lived through the situation. Not to mention, yeah, you also the toe stomping was really big. I'm mm -hmm. glad we stopped doing that. I no longer mm -hmm. have any broken toes. Yes, but I do remember still it affecting my self-esteem. I was, uh, when I was being bullied by Jedi, not able to keep my head up or my Jedi hood off mm -hmm. um, at the same time. That's yes, the the sit stomach sickness, that's yes, what that is, yeah. And this final photo is where we found ourselves at the end of the symposium. Mm -hmm. That's where we were in a, in a, in a bully-free zone. This is what was really going on. Click. Yeah. Um, and here you notice my body posture is markedly better. I'm yeah. standing up straight. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I'm supported in the world and I have something to contribute. This is where we also decided to do the Jenga that would really help it out. Like just basically hand Jenga to make us all unify as one. Yes, absolutely. We are stronger if we use our talents together um, than we are if we uh, uh, only focus on how we're different. Yes. Uh, it's very nice. And I look forward to a universe without bullying going forward. Thank you very much.